what's up, everybody? Happy Thanksgiving to everybody, and be safe out there. Well, I had a very exciting morning. It started, it started way before light. Got in the street stand about 6.45. Fifty, six fifty-five, somewhere in there. Heard a whole bunch on the west east side. Bunch of splashing, running. I mean, it was coming towards me, and uh, got behind me, and came up, and ran right underneath my tree stand. It was two dogs. body deer and I can see the nose and it's, it's all down he's, he's um, on the ground just walking and walking he came up right behind me he got behind me down the wind the wind is coming from the southwest south southwest so he came down here he came down and he stopped looking at him and he walked away up this hill and I could just see his broad times and um, he, looked, he looked good <laughs> but his body was small so I don't know what it was you know I can't take no shot but I don't know what it is okay so then they got a little daylight after that and about, about three or four minutes I'm Eight point came in the same direction. So when this happened, this told me that earlier the hot dog came through here from the west side, come through here, ran to the back over here, and every buck in the neighborhood was found there. So I started getting, I started getting this uh, eight point. He came, he got right over here on his two track. He was sniffing and sniffing and he just turned and he lost the track. He lost it. He went that way in the north. And he went uh, I said he went north. I didn't see him no more. So then um, about 20 minutes later I look, I hear someone look behind me and here he comes back. And he comes back to the same spot. So he's looking for her. <laughs> This is the same one I believe that I had on the camera on the 14th, uh, the last day of both season. I had the same point. You know, I'm a child, it's not big, yeah, but anyway, he messes around and then he runs up the hill. He finally goes ahead and catches the scent and he goes the same area with that big old other mature buck.
she just, she knew something was going on, but I was, I was sitting still. And she came up to the stand and looked up at me. Never did blow, nothing. She just kept looking, and then she just went ahead and turned, and they just walked away. And they went to the west, I mean north. Alright everybody, I'm down. It's about uh, a little after 10. <clears throat> that was a fantastic morning. So, um, just going to let you look at the tree stand I'm sitting in. Right there. And uh, look, at the mount, uh, look at this hill. This ridge I got where the bed, bedding area is at. And you can see all through there a little bit, you know, there's swamp all around in there. So, well, it is turkey day, so we are getting down, heading home. All right, well, didn't pick them up. So, camera didn't go. But anyway, had a good, um, good morning. So, oh. there, goes, there goes evidence right there of him coming through here. And he ran right down here. He was heading this way. He followed those man does. I made the right. I made the right decision, everybody. You know, you just cannot shoot if you don't know what it is. In the morning time, your eyes could be messing with you. You know, and uh, it could be something else. But I, know, I know it was a deer, so it was right by my stand. You know, two, two, uh, one yard. <laughs> So, but uh, you know that's that's hunting. You know, you know it seems like everything's got to get back. I mean, it seems like everything has to get connected together to make it happen. You know, if those deer had came through, uh, came back around, you know, a little bit, you know, after 7:15. Uh, well, I ain't gonna say the doe's coming through 715. I'm talking about the first buck, the first big body buck I saw before 7 o'clock. If he had came in, you know, 10 minutes later, 15 minutes later, you know, it would have been a wrap. So, <laughs> it's just... It's crazy how, you know, things uh, come about, you know, turn events and stuff. Um, one day I was heading in, I was hunting that stand, and I was heading in, and a doe was laying right there, right there, right underneath those trees, and there's an old apple tree there. So, but, uh, 
this is what's uh, going on for today. Turkey Day. Uh, hope everybody has a blessed, wonderful Thanksgiving. And then thanks for what you're going to get too. I know y'all do. But. Yeah. Well, this is about barn. So that stand that I'm in, I call it the barn stand. <laughs> and stuff. And, uh, all these tracks going through here. It's cool. But uh, this is a uh, been this barn's been here for so many many years, and if snow, we you know, one season we had bad bad snow a couple years ago, maybe three years ago, and the snow, you know, demolished it, knocked down, you know, the roof. So. Well, this is my family's land. That's my home right there. Kind of neat to go hunting right in the back or oh, right in front of your house. <laughs> That's a pear tree, everybody. That in my last couple of videos, I don't know, I think it was episode five five or six that buck that had a sticker on there he was a nine point main frame nine point and he was out here eating a pear tree that evening and I, that's when i took a video of him. i could have shot him and i choose not to i went ahead and got i wanted to get a video so all right everybody y'all have a great holiday and uh, we'll get back at it tomorrow. Peace.